What's going on, Gifted Hands family? It is Elijah here bringing you another lesson, and today we're gonna be going over Todd Delaney's song titled Stand Forever. Honestly, um, my praise and worship leader at the church I played for last Sunday sent me this song. He said we was doing it. Never heard it before, but thought it was amazing. I'm um, in a good song for to show actually to show you all um, in case you need some songs to bring to your praise and worship team. Great song to do on Sunday. Okay, so we're gonna learn this. Nice upbeat song um, in 6-8 time signature. It's in 6-8, uh, so not our basic 4-4, four, four, right? And then we're in the key of E major as well. So our scale for E major, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Walk it down, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And um, let's talk about the song form. So for this song form, it's fairly simple. Uh, we have... We're right in, no intro, right in on the verse. So verse one, chorus. Verse two, chorus. Then we go into a bridge. From the bridge, they go into like a tag or a revamp section. We'll just call it a tag, all right? So a couple different sections. That's, that leaves us with four sections, really. Um, verse, chorus, bridge, and tag. Verse and the chorus repeat, though, twice. So you only got to learn it once, and then you play the same thing, pretty much. All right, so we're going to go from start to finish, and it's going to be a quick and easy lesson, y'all. Let's get it. You just heard the playthrough, and we're just going to start at the top with the verse. Okay, excuse me. Whew. So I'm going to give you the basic chords. I'm gonna give you the basic chords for the song um, and for each section. And then we'll talk about some embellishment stuff after we cover the basic chords, okay? So uh, what do we have? The verse starts off on the four chord. Four, which is A sus two. Or you can just play in A major, but I like to play A sus. Da, 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 four. Da, 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 one. Uh, and then we're going back to the four. Da, 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 da. Then to the six. You can play six like this. To the five. Da, 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 da. Four. Da, 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 da. Uh, well, well, sorry. Four. Yeah. Six. Five, four again, to the six, to the five. So super simple, right? Really simple verse. Um, and I'll play that one more time. They won't be quiet. Four. I won't be ashamed. One. Four. So um, all, after we get the basic chords, what we can do is just add some embellishments, like I said earlier, um, just creating or adding little melodies on top. Yeah, that help bring us from chord to chord to chord, okay? So uh, let's just walk through that and see what we can add. Da, 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 four. Da, 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 da. Nice little movement we can do over the one. So we're going to the one chord, right? But what we can do is like play a four chord, A major, over the one. This is how I'm playing it. Because I have my uh, root note, E, in my pinky in the left. So I'm gonna play four over one, and then I'm gonna resolve it back to my E major chord. So here's four over one, here's three over one. So all I really gotta do is move two notes. C sharp and A, go to B and G sharp. So that's the first thing we do. To the six. Five. To the four, right? So first off, um, we're doing six, 
to five. We're actually adding the three chord before we hit the four chord. So that's one thing we can do. But and then we can create some like nice little harmonic and melodic movements to go into some of these chords. So four. When we're going into the six, a little simple stuff like that. Just a two note movement. Um, and these are all six, six intervals. Just a little movement, like I said, kind of melodic movement. And when we land here, I'm playing the sixth chord on my left. So something you can do, or you can even, if you're not comfortable with playing left-hand chord voice, you can just play the root note, or one and five, root and fifth, something like that, it's simple. Or even root and seventh. You don't have to play the full chord on your left. Or just the root, doesn't matter, okay? Whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay? So we don't give we won't be quiet. For I won't be ashamed. You keep on dancing. So no, no. This is me. Six. Okay, and then we can create a melody line over the chords. So, six, five, one over three, four. That's the progression, right? So, when we go to the three chord, we can play this. Or, even simplify. So that would be, when we hit the... We're gonna play uh, G sharp, the three, and the one in our left hand, just like an inverted one chord. And then we're gonna play the melody line over it. When we land on the E in our right, we're hitting the four chord in our left, okay? Simple little movements like that, so. Same progression, but we're just doing a different movement because we play the four, six, five, three, four, like three times, right? We do six, four. We play that over and over in the verse. Six, five. So you play that over and over and over. So to break up the monotony, so we don't have to do the same exact thing every single time, all they're doing is adding these embellishments.